right, go to sleep now. You have company. Bathing cousin's kids. <sighs> we can't leave them. No, probably not. Could come back in the morning. Even if I wasn't babysitting all week, you'd probably get here in a month with that old rust of bucket. Hey! I'll have you know she's not got any rust, <laughs> except in my rust collecting rooms. Might not have any rust, but I find it funny you steal a TARDIS and don't even look up how to make it work properly. <laughs> nah. Manuals are stupid. You can always take the small humans with us. They don't be much more trouble than regular humans are. And hey, Disneyland Titan wasn't bad the last time we went. Apart from space sharks. And you obviously don't know nothing about human kids. Anyway, if we encounter a Dalek and they lose a limb, or worse. Oh, sorry, cuz, we encountered a Dalek on a space day trip. Fair point. Though for the record, human kids are pretty much just like Gallifreyan kids. Mostly. Kind of. Anyway. I think... What was that? I have no idea, just... Okay, Doctor. Explain. Yep. It's working on explanations. Well? Well? It's a forest. Oh, wow. The sonic screwdriver is so impressive. If only we had eyes that could tell us that. Laugh it off, laugh it off. <laughs> Ellie? Ellie? My cousin's daughter, that sounded like her. Whoa! Whoa! Back then? Yeah, how'd they get here? How did we get here, Emma? Priorities! My priorities are keeping them safe. Come on! You two again. I'll explain later. But if it's not, then. Well, if your invisible friends have anything to help, let me know. In the meantime, let's split up and find them. I'm not sure splitting up is the best idea. It might be the only one we have. You go that way, and I'll go in the opposite direction. Why would that be a good idea? Let's just say. This place might not be as logical as you think. Come on. What the? See what I mean? Come on.
What's going on? Judging by the variable geometry... Emma, you didn't let these kids of your cousins get into that drawer I keep stuff in, did you? Not to my no knowing, but, you know, kids, they get into all sorts when you're not looking. Ah, hell. Ah, hell. I keep a lot of things in that drawer, including a couple of dream shards from New Citadel Station. Dream shards? Uh, long story. Short version. They induce a dream state that's much more vivid than real dreaming. So we're stuck in a dream reality. That would be cool if it was another time or place. The problem being that things in here can be as real as, well, reality. And these are presumably the children's dreams. Oh, Eleanor. She's been having nightmares recently. Yes, well, if the trend continues, so will we. What sort of nightmares has she been having? Dreams go so often. Ghosts like that? Yes, exactly. Shall we? Indeed. We've got to find them and wake them up. I've got a question. The kids we're seeing, is it really them or is that what they're dreaming? Uh, half and half. Technically, they're the real kids, but also not. Gee, that helps. Are they in danger from their own dreams? We're all in danger. Those shards should never be used by undisciplined human minds. So you can't use them, Arthur. <laughs> you disciplined. <laughs> is this really the time? It is always. Okay, maybe not right now. It's all right. You're safe. I promise. Who are you? Where am I? It's okay. He's the doctor. My friend. You're dreaming. It doesn't feel like dreaming. Just trust me. You're going to be okay. Ghost! Hide! The other one, the, uh, the boy. Jared. What will he be dreaming of? Uh, the dark. This is not the real house. No, real. We have to find... Foster again. Emma! Emma, you shouldn't have run off! Oh, it's the, um, the boy one. Um, hello. Oh, oh, okay. We're hugging now. Okay, hugging is good. Hey, hey. Everything's gonna be okay now, okay? Okay? 
Okay, so we just need to find a couple of people. Okay? Okay, um, uh, go? What's the one rule? Don't wander off. It's not that difficult, you wouldn't think, but do they ever listen? No, no, of course they don't listen. Why would they ever listen to a single word that I <laughs> said? Okay. All right. The deal, you're gonna get out of this, is don't wander off. Okay. Deal? Deal. High five. Deal. High five. Okay. So, so, so. Now all we have to do is find Emma. Hmm. I have a thought. <laughs> Hello there. Doctor. I've been thinking. Thinking what? Getting out of here isn't a tech matter, it's uh, something else entirely. That's really funny. It's a nightmare. How does one normally wake from a nightmare? Screaming? Why? Because you've been scared. Exactly. Yes, 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 it's over. It's a fine, how'd you do? Well, they don't seem upset. Oh, they haven't grown any extra heads or anything. Well, I'm, I'm pretty certain that from their perspective, all they're remembering is that it was a particularly creepy nightmare. So, sure, I can't tempt you with another trip to Disneyland with the kids. Yeah, sure. Sure. I'm sure. Uh, probably just as well. Chances are well we'd end up running into Cybermen or something. Speaking of, did I ever tell you about this one time where I was an idiot with a bow tie instead of an idiot with a cravat? And I was taking this very pretty girl with dark hair. Don't worry, she was not my type. She was too short. <laughs> <laughs>